get married, man. That's what I know. When you're a single guy, too much stress. You got to wake up every morning, figure out where you're going to go later on, and who you want to hang out with that night, and how you want to spend your money. And once you get married, you ain't going to make them decisions ever again. <laughs> I wake up, there's a big old post-it note stuck to my forehead already. <laughs> I'll see you after Home Depot. All right. Hey, could you call me every 30 seconds and ask where I'm going? I knew you would. <laughs> Here's a song I wrote while I was in Australia. Get off me. Yeah, my wife was 98 pounds, gave birth to an 8 pound, 14 and a half ounce baby boy, and that didn't work out too good. He got stuck halfway through there, you know, and they had to put the suction little vacuum cleaner on his head and suck the back of his head way on out like that for a little while. Looked like he's wearing one of those Lance Armstrong bicycle helmets. Come. <laughs> We bought him a little yellow bracelet at the hospital there. Live strong, little man. Live strong. I was scared of death. Sitting at a Cracker Barrel restaurant during a tornado. Yeah. Nice place to eat, but could you pick a more unsafe place to be? You ever take a long look at the walls in a Cracker Barrel? They got hoes, pitchforks, antlers. Oh, oh, I, I got it. Well, Kind of like a hillbilly matrix. Like, <laughs> got pop pies are smacking me in the face. <laughs> I was slipping on golf tees for a half hour trying to get out. Cleaned out my ear today. Oh, man. You ever wait too long between ear cleanings? Pull out that Q tip, looks like a big old caramel apple. You ever done that? What do I do with it now? <laughs> I'm saving that for trick-or-treaters. Yeah. A little bit of that never hurt nobody. I got stuck behind a Geo Metro, right? Two hunters in full camouflage in the front seat of a Metro. I wasn't sure if that's because they're out hunting or they just didn't want to be seen driving around in a Geo Metro. <laughs> no shame in it, but I pull up alongside, they had killed a deer. I just didn't see it because they had crammed it in the hatchback seat of that automobile. <laughs> Poor deer didn't even fit that to roll down the right window and stick his head out. Like, ah, ah, that deer is a loser twice. That's embarrassing. Yeah, 37 got high cholesterol, 299 cholesterol level. Yeah, it's the highest in my county, so I get to go to regionals next weekend. Yeah. <laughs> got to go up against the gravy sucker from Memphis. So. <laughs> yeah. My doctor, he freaked out. Two ninety nine. I gotta take this medicine now. Lipitor, little pill. I just wrap it up in a piece of bacon, swallow it whole every morning. <laughs> Sometimes I melt some cheese on it and slide a toothpick through. You know, pill in a blanket. That's my invention right there. Get up here and help me sing a song. Can you sing for me? Whenever I say I'm just a guy, I want you to sing loudly and proudly, guy, guy, I'm just a guy. Come a little closer. We want to actually get you on the TV program here. There you go. <laughs> I'm just a guy. Guy, guy. I'm just a guy. You got it. Has he got it? I think he's got it. Yeah. That's pretty quick learning right there. And I've worn the same boxer since last May. <laughs> I never listen to a single word you say. I don't